Good morning. We come together in prayer in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. The Lord be with you. As we prepare to celebrate Eucharist, let us call to mind our sins. We pray together, I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and what I have failed to do, and through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Lord, have mercy. Christ, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Let us pray. And Mass is offered today for Mary Burke. Grant, we pray, Almighty God, that no tempests may disturb us, for you've set us fast on the rock of the Apostle Peter's confession of faith. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. reading from the first letter of St. Peter. Beloved, I exhort the presbyters among you as a fellow presbyter and witness to the sufferings of Christ and one who has shared in the glory to be revealed. Tend to the flock of God in your midst, overseeing not by constraint, but willingly, as God would have it, not for shameful profit, but eagerly. Do not lord it over those assigned to you, but be examples to the flock. And when the chief shepherd is revealed, you will receive the unfading crown of glory. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. The Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. The Lord, Lord is my shepherd. shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. In verdant pastures he gives me repose. Beside restful waters he leads me, he refreshes my soul. The Lord, the Lord is, is my, my shepherd. shepherd, there is nothing, nothing I, I shall want. want. Even though I walk in the dark valley, I fear no evil for you are at my side, with you and with your staff that give me courage. The Lord, Lord is, is my, my shepherd. shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. You spread the table before me in the sight of my foes. You anoint my head with oil, my cup overflows. The Lord, Lord is, is my, my shepherd. shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. Only goodness and kindness follow me all the days of my life and I shall dwell in the house of the Lord for years to come. The Lord, the Lord is my shepherd, there is nothing I shall want. The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. When Jesus went into the region of Caesarea Philippi, he asked his disciples, Who do people say that the Son of Man is? They replied, Some say John the Baptist, others Elijah, still others Jeremiah or one of the prophets. He said to them, But who do you say that I am? Simon Peter said in reply, You are the Christ, the Son of the living God. Jesus said to him in reply, Blessed are you, Simon, son of Jonah, for flesh and blood has not revealed this to you, but my heavenly Father. And so I say to you, you are Peter, and upon this rock 
I will build my church, and the gates of the netherworld shall not prevail against it. I will give you the keys to the kingdom of heaven. Whatever you bind on earth shall be bound in heaven, and whatever you loose on earth shall be loosed in heaven. The Gospel of the Lord. Today's the feast of the chair of St. Peter. Seems kind of funny to be celebrating the feast of a chair, <laughs> but it's really the position of Pope, the chair, uh, cathedra, where the word cathedral comes from. Uh, uh, if you go to the uh, uh, St. Peter's Basilica in Rome, the chair of Peter is, is uh, an altar underneath that alabaster window and of the, uh, the, the Holy Spirit, uh, the altar of the chair, been there a number of times with uh, some of our priests of our diocese when I was vocation director, got to attend some celebrations there at Mass. But, but uh, the chair is, is, is what we honor, but most importantly, we honor all those people from St. Peter on, all the popes. You know, uh, one of the things that I think we forget sometimes is that they are human. <laughs> you know, of, of all the uh, beliefs about our, our church and the Pope being infallible, infallible only uh, in matters of faith and morals, and it's only a, a, a declaration that's been even used twice, but yet it, it, we've, we've, that makes us sometimes forget the humanity of the Popes, and, and, and we recognize also the humanity of Peter, the first Pope, Peter who made this great declaration of faith and then turns around and and says, oh, Lord, you will never have to suffer. We'll protect you from that. And, and, and Jesus gives him one of the biggest rebukes of anyone in Scripture. Peter, who was uh, one who made a great profession of faith and given the keys and yet also denied Jesus. And yet in his denial was also forgiven by Jesus three times when Jesus said, feed my lambs, care for my sheep. Peter, human being, and, and all of our popes, human beings. It, it's kind of fun to think back to, to the popes in our lifetime. I was born under John the 23rd. John the 23rd, uh, called by my parents, you know, good Pope John. <laughs> Loved because of his humility and, and his humanity. He was born a poor farmer, uh, one of uh, 13 children. I find him easy to relate to and he had a wonderful sense of humor and even though he was elected at an old age and thought to be just a caretaker pope he announced the second vatican council and brought about great renewal in our church gosh i, I think of, of being in des moines and many of you probably remember when john paul ii came to des moines in 1979 and what a wonderful day that was also remember him in his old age and one of those times that I was in Rome seeing him celebrate one of his very last masses as a very very man of, of whose humanity and was really revealed in in his uh, Parkinson disease and near his death I met Benedict once walking through the the Basilica of Rome he, he was uh, just walking through he wasn't yet Pope it was uh, Cardinal Ratzinger, but uh, I, I think what people never saw was that he was really quite a humble and, and, and quiet, quiet man. And of course, Pope Francis. Francis, who I think will be remembered mostly because of his preaching the gospel of mercy, welcoming people to the church, saying that we should be a church that uh, is open to all people, and that our shepherds should smell like the sheep, <laughs> should be one with the people. Beautiful things when we think about, of course, all of them have their faults all through history. Some of the saints have been scoundrels. Some of the popes have been scoundrels and not saints, but, but all the same. Somehow the amazing thing about this feast day is that the church has remained solid on the foundation of Peter. That we've not wavered from that and it has helped us be a church that is united let's uh 
pray today for all of our leaders. Gosh, in our diocese, let's pray that we finally get a bishop <laughs> and one who will also be a good shepherd for us in our diocese. But all our leaders, let's, let's pray that they will be able to be inspired as Simon Peter was, be able to preach forgiveness as Simon Peter did and learned in his own life, and be for us an example of Christ guiding us and leading us to eternal life. For all of our popes, for, for all who have sat in that chair of Peter, for all who will in the future, we bring our prayer today. Let's stand to pray. May the Lord our God refresh our souls on our Lenten journey as we bring these prayers. For our Pope, who follows the Lord in the footsteps of Peter, we pray to the Lord. For our church throughout the world, that its growth be fed with love and mercy by Jesus the Good Shepherd, we pray to the Lord. For all Christian churches, that the Lenten season will draw us to greater peace and reconciliation, we pray to the Lord. For those who have been hurt by leaders and ministers in the church, may they receive healing, we pray to the Lord. For those who are sick and suffering in mind, body, and spirit, may they be strengthened by our prayers and filled with the grace of the sacraments, we pray to the Lord. We pause for our own prayers and personal intentions and the needs of our faith community. We pray to the Lord. O oh God, you brought your church into the world through water and the Spirit. Grant that we may be brought to perfection promised in your Son, Jesus Christ, who lives and reigns with you in the Holy Spirit, God, forever and ever. And it is through your goodness that we have received the bread we offer you, fruit of the earth, work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed are you, Lord, God of all creation, it is through your goodness that we have received the wine we offer you, fruit of the vine, work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Lord, wash away. Pray now, my sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours be acceptable to God, our loving Father. Accept with favor, O Lord, we pray the prayers and offerings of your church, that with St. Peter as her shepherd, she may come to an eternal inheritance, for it is through his teaching that she holds the faith in integrity through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. Lift up your hearts. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is truly right and just, our duty, our salvation, always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, almighty and eternal God. For you, eternal shepherd, do not desert your flock, but through your blessed apostles, watch over it and protect it always so that it may be governed by those you have appointed shepherds to lead it in the name of your Son. So with the angels and archangels, with thrones and dominions, with all the hosts and powers of heaven, we sing the hymn of your glory as without end we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord, God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, and all you have created rightly gives you praise. For through your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, by the power and working of the Holy Spirit, you give life to all things and make them holy, and you never cease to gather a people to yourself, so that from the rising of the sun to its setting, a pure sacrifice may be offered to your name. Therefore, O Lord, we humbly implore you by that same Spirit, 
graciously make holy the gifts we have brought to you for consecration, that they may become for us the body and blood of your Son, our Lord Jesus Christ, at whose command we celebrate these mysteries. For on the night he was betrayed, he himself took bread, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, broke the bread, and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it. This is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and giving you thanks, he said the blessing, and gave the chalice to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith, save us, Savior of the world, for by your cross and resurrection you have set us free. Therefore, O oh Lord, as we celebrate the memorial of the saving passion of your Son, his wondrous resurrection and ascension into heaven, and as we look forward to his second coming, we offer you in thanksgiving this holy and living sacrifice. Look, we pray upon the oblation of your church and recognizing the sacrificial victim by whose death you will to reconcile us to yourself, grant that we who are nourished by the body and blood of your Son and filled with his Holy Spirit may become one body, one spirit in Christ. May he make of us an eternal offering to you so that we may obtain an inheritance with your elect, especially with the most blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Joseph, her spouse, with your blessed apostles and glorious martyrs, with St. Thomas More and all the saints on whose constant intercession in your presence we rely for unfailing help. May the sacrifice of our reconciliation advance the peace and salvation of all the world. Be pleased to confirm in faith and charity your pilgrim church on earth with your servant Francis our Pope, with all the bishops, the clergy, and the entire people you have gained for your own. Listen graciously to the prayers of this family whom you've summoned before you. In your compassion, O oh merciful Father, gather to yourself all your children scattered throughout the world. To all of our departed brothers and sisters and to all who were pleasing to you at their passing from this life, give kind admittance to your kingdom. There we hope to enjoy forever the fullness of your glory through Christ our Lord, through whom you bestow on the world all that is good. Through him, with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Trusting in the love of God, we dare to now pray. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, from all evil. Graciously grant us peace in our day. In your mercy, keep us free from sin and protect us from all distress as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. The peace of the Lord be with you always. Let's offer each other a sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sin of the world. Have mercy on us.
Behold the Lamb of God. Behold Him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Say the word of my soul. Peter said to Jesus, you are the Christ, the Son of the living God. Jesus replied, you are Peter, and upon this rock I will build my church. Let us pray. O God, who at our celebration on the feast day of the blessed apostle Peter have nourished us by communion in the body and blood of Christ, Grant, we pray, that this redeeming exchange may be for us a sacrament of unity and peace through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. May Almighty God bless you, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. We go in peace.